Hey, John Hampy with the Mass Hire IT Collaborative, and today I'm going to show you really quickly how to put in your AWS registration code in your AWS client. Now, let's assume that you have just you've just had the AWS client installed on your machine, or it's already installed on the workstation, but because you're logging into the machine for the first time it's going to prompt you for that registration code. So let's get started. So we're going to come over here to the AWS desktop. We're going to go ahead and launch the client. And as you can see, it is, it's going to prompt you. It says, to get started, enter the registration code provided to you by your administrator. Now you're going to get this registration code from your IT administrator at the Career Center or your immediate supervisor. So you're going to want to ask for that. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this in and you will not be able to see this uh, code, but again, you can get the code from your IT administrator or your manager at, the, at your given location. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in. I'm going to uh, click register. There you go. And it's going to bring up the login fields uh, so you can enter in your credentials uh, and you can log into your AWS workspace session. So, um, we're going to go ahead and do this because you're going to get a prompt the first time you log in. And it's going to say, remember me. Now, in a previous video about logging in and logging out of AWS workspaces, uh, we touched on the remember me. Now, as a security best practice uh, at our location, we don't do this. Um, I have it set to not remember the clients and the staff. Why? Because a lot of the workstations are shared and when you have shared workspace uh, workstations you have circumstances where one person gets up another person sits down and next thing you know they're in front of their 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 session and they go to launch the AWS client and they get this they say yes and now they're in the other person's AWS desktop session. That's not what you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and again, as a security best practice, because we want people to log in with their full credentials, their, their login and their password, I'm going to say no. And this is going to go ahead and it's going to launch into the desktop. All right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to close the client. And I'm going to open it again. And you're going to see that it's going to prompt me to enter in both my, my username and my password, and it's not gonna offer to reconnect. There you go. So I hope you, you enjoyed this quick video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up, thumbs down. If you have any uh, ideas or uh, I'm happy to hear them, um, and thank you for watching.